Hello everyone, my name is Daryl, and I'm here speaking to you today in my capacity as the elder brother to my lovely young sister, Felicia Chu, or better known to most of you as Felicia Tissue. Well, Tissue because that is her most favorite teddy bear that she brings to sleep every night, in joy or sorrow, although I'm sure it has been inundated with tears recently. This is Tissue, by the way, just for you guys to know. Well, this is probably the first time you are seeing me live on screen, as I don't quite like to involve myself in the dynamism of social media. I have no Twitter account or huge followers count, just a simple account to share my food adventures and family occasions. After all, I come from a humble and simple family with nothing but an upbringing value that have shaped me to who I am today as a man. After witnessing what has happened to my sister in her relationship to a publicly known figure that have lasted for five years, I feel compelled as both a brother and a man to share what I feel is important to the public, but more importantly, to all women who are listening to this right now. As a faithful and committed woman all this while, to a man whom she believed in, she has now been left hanging with no certainties, except for clear evidence of being cheated, both emotionally and spiritually. This man, whom I entrusted my sister to, has repeatedly asked for my parents' and grandparents' blessings, and recently asked for my sister's hand in marriage in December 2020. Now, in January 2021, he then disappeared after informing my sister through written text that his father has agreed. My sister being lost and confused, tried to contact him repeatedly, but to no avail. She then tried to reach out to his aunt, his sister-in-law, and even his father through Instagram message, but there was no response. I cannot help but imagine her feelings at that point, how excruciating it must have been. Nevertheless, she continued to believe in him and prayed for him, and I can only watch in envy how strong a woman she is. She went to the church as a faithful Christian, to the temple because of my ancestors' roots, and to the mosque because she respected the Islamic faith, all for the purpose of praying for him. I was lost for words because despite being treated cruelly, she still held firm to her belief in the man whom she loves genuinely. The man whom she met when he was at his lowest with nothing to his name. The man whom she took buses with to school and weekend dates and the man who eventually asked for her hand in marriage but only to Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe dan share ya.